reasons why your sales page is not converting and what to do instead so that you can write a sales page that sells for you. I've been talking about sales pages for the last week because we have a live workshop coming up tomorrow. We're going to be writing a sales page that sells. And as I've been talking about the sales pages, I'm getting a lot of requests from coaches for me to audit their sales pages. And there's some very commonly made mistakes that I'm seeing. So that's what I want to talk about today so that you're not making these mistakes on your sales page. If we haven't met yet, I'm Karma Hunter, owner of KarmaDNA.com. I help online coaches and entrepreneurs plan their launches with evergreen systems and strategies so that they can scale to 10K months without social media or tech burnout. Today, we're talking about 10 biggest mistakes that coaches and entrepreneurs make on their sales page that actually leaves the money on the table for them. So let's talk about these 10 mistakes, 10 reasons why your sales page is not converting. And let me know which one of these actually sound familiar or which one of these you need to actually work on in the comments after watching this video. So let's start. Mistake number one, you're losing out on the most valuable real estate, top of your sales page. So mistake number one is putting a picture there. I see a lot of coaches do this where there's a picture banner on top of the page and it is pretty, but it's not doing any good for you. Mistake number two is putting your product or program title there or your course title there or maybe the name of your business there. I see a lot of coaches write the name of their business or the name of their program, name of their course at the very top of the page. Once again, you're losing out on the real estate. Do not waste this space with a title with a name. So what is the number three? Number three is you don't have a hook. This is very common that at the top of your page, above the fold part, there's no hook. And I want to remind you one more time, I talk about this a lot. 80% of your traffic is expected to leave after watching, or I mean, after reading the top of your sales page. So our goal is to decrease the amount of people that are leaving after reading the top of our page and increase the conversion of the people who start scrolling down and actually engaging on our page. So in order to do this, we need a compelling hook. And the best way to utilize this most valuable real estate on your sales page, the top of your page above the fold, you need to have a clear and compelling hook. And we talk about this all the time, not clever, clear and compelling. So let's talk about mistake number four. So fourth reason why your sales page is not converting is because you're focusing on the wrong design element. I know we all want a pretty page. I know we all want it to be on brand, but your branding, your colors, how pretty your page looks is not important, but your branding and your colors and how pretty your page looks and the pretty pictures on your page is not important. When you're focusing on the design, focus on the outline of your sales page and focus on the easy readability of your sales page so that this helps your audience's journey a lot more easier for them and it actually creates more and more desire for them to take the action your sales page is asking them to take. Fifth reason why your sales page is not converting is because you don't have a believable offer. I'm not saying your offer is not good enough. I'm not saying your offer is not believable. I mean, the way your sales page is written is not believable. When you have vague words or very broad descriptions and very big promises, 
on your sales page about your offer, this makes it unbelievable. So if someone doesn't believe that these could be the results that you're giving, they're not going to be motivated because they're not going to trust that this is going to work for them. So in order to make it believable, you need to make sure you're clear and specific as to what type of outcome they should expect after uh, getting your offer, either your program, either your course or your product, whatever this product or service is, you need to give them specifically what they will achieve. Sixth reason why your page is not converting is because you're focusing on the features more than the benefits. It's not about what your offer is. It's about what are the benefits that your target audience will get by getting this offer, by purchasing this offer from you. So make sure to focus on the benefits. Don't tell people what they will get. Tell people how they will benefit from what they'll get. Does that make sense? So make sure to talk about the benefits and make sure to look at it from your ideal client's perspective. Mistake number seven, this is a date. It's not a one night stand. You want to establish a long-term relationship. First, maybe it's a coffee date and then we're gonna go on a dinner date, but we're not approaching this like a one night stand. These people don't know you yet. They may not even be aware of the solution you're providing. So you need to make sure to write your sales page copy in a manner where you are as explanatory as you can be so that you are actually debunking the myths and, and getting rid of the limiting beliefs that they may have and also getting rid of the objections that they may have about signing up or purchasing this offer. So unless this is a low ticket offer, refrain from jumping into buy this and get this type of call to action or, or language that you may wanna use. Because like we said, first you gotta talk about the benefits. So first you need to introduce yourself and introduce your solution and talk about their struggles and how you are empathizing with that and how you can actually help them solve it. And this brings me to mistake number eight. You don't want groupies. You want long-term relationships. This is just like the date part, but a little different. Your purpose is not to make a quick sale or one-time sale. If you're in the online coaching space or if you're in the high-ticket sales, you want to establish a long-term relationship so that those leads turn to repeat clients and not just one sale and that's it. So people should buy from you not because they like you, but because they see that they can get results with your thing. That's what makes a long-term tribe, what builds a, a real tribe, instead of just having a bunch of groupies. And you're always going to profit more by building a tribe. So let's talk about the ninth reason why your sales page is not converting. You're not telling if this is a good deal. Yes, you are putting your price on the sales page and maybe you're putting um, sale type of deal on the sales page, but you're not talking about the real value that they're getting. Um, if this is a high ticket item, most of the time you have some bonuses or a lot of times there are so many pieces that go into it. Talk about maybe if they were to purchase everything separately, then it would have cost this much. Talk about if they were to uh, get this from a big name brand or a guru uh, that it would, call, it would cost them 5x, 10x, whatever it is. So always try to quantify the value that they're getting and show them that this is how much you're paying, but actually you're getting this much. That is the whole point of showing the value. So once you show this value, it's going to be a lot more appealing to your audience. And the last reason why your sales page is not converting 
at least the last one in this video, you don't have a call to action. You know me, I'm big on call to action. So make sure your sales page has a good, clear call to action. And the mistake could be that you either don't have a call to action or you have too many of them. And when I say too many of them, a sales page, especially for a high ticket item, is gonna be pretty much a long sales page. On the sales page, you will need to give multiple call to actions in different sections of your sales. So it's easy for your audience to click on it and purchase as soon as they make a decision so that they don't have to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. However, make sure all of these call to actions are the same call to action. They are saying, they are guiding your audience to take the same call to action. Don't give multiple different call to actions. Put multiple call to actions in different parts of your page, but make sure it's only one call to action, one action that they need to take so that we're not confusing them. So these are the 10 biggest mistakes I've seen that coaches are making when they're writing their sales page copy. And let me know in the comments which one of these you think you need to focus on more or you think you need to improve so that um, I know which ones you're struggling with. And if you need my help, if you want me to audit your sales page, send me a DM to the link to your sales page. Tomorrow we have a live workshop. We're gonna be writing a sales page copy that sells. So if you're not in my Facebook group yet, please join and RSVP to the event. Or you can also click the link below and I'm putting the registration link below in the um, comments here so that you can click on that and register and I'll see you tomorrow at the workshop. Take care.